What's up guys? Welcome back to Welcome back to another video and in today's video we're picking up a car um, that I'll, I've always been wanting not particularly this one this body style But I've always wanted this car to add to the channel and the M collection and I think we found a pretty nice one It's a one owner e36 m3 I guess you guys are gonna have to see the spec in a little bit But what's also super crazy is that I actually got this car from a fellow youtuber as well located here in like the LA area I don't really know exactly where I am right now, but they go by the name Hoonigan So for those of you guys who actually watch the, uh, yeah, the Hoonigan Kids YouTube channel. I looked into them a little bit before I came here. They do a bunch of crazy cool things and uh, it looks like they actually wanted to get an E36 up there to do some crazy stuff too, but they wanted something uh, nicer, better spec I would say. This one, <laughs> something that we're looking for exactly, and it actually match up perfectly with the F80 M3. So without further ado, let's go ahead and head inside and see if we can talk to anybody. <laughs> Let's cop the new whip, guys. We got about six hours to get home. Let's go ahead and take her home. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are with the E36 M3. You guys saw it earlier in this video, how we drove it pretty much from LA. Basically, long story short, my boy Blake from Blake's Garage, uh, he was looking, helping me look for a little track car. I mean, I've been meaning to get a track car, and uh, this car I think is perfectly good for the money. This thing is a clean title, one owner, E36 M3. This is a 1997, so this has the preferred M motor. I believe this one, I don't know if it has more power, but people just prefer these for the track. I'm not too much into E36 M3s just yet, but definitely gonna be diving into this one heavily because we're gonna be building it to something that's pretty insane. But yeah, Blake found Ventra selling this E36 M3. If you guys don't know who Ventra is, he's from Hoonigans. And uh, yeah, he was actually selling this E36 M3. He said it was too nice for him to tear apart and uh, you know, turn into like a full track car. I wanna make this thing a clean track car because it is a clean title. I wanna make it look like it's, it's a classy, keep the original paint, try to just restore everything I can from the outside. But the inside is where the track's gonna be. I wanna add so many things from the exterior, like racing wheels, spoiler, all that good stuff. We're gonna put some decals on it for sure. But yeah, I just think it's absolutely insane that I got this car from one of the main guys from Hoonigans. It was an absolute thrill because I got to go down there. I got to see the actual Hoonigans garage. I got to meet the guys, obviously. And they were really, really, really nice. Something that I just wanna go ahead and put out there. Vin didn't have to do this for me, but uh, basically my wife actually drove this back, as you guys saw from the intro, and uh, he gave me his seat from one of his friends' E36 coupes. So this is a perfectly good seat. It's a manual seat. Basically, the seat originally came with this car in the front. Um, didn't work. It did not move forward and back. It was all the way to the back. So basically, uh, my wife wasn't able to actually get up close enough to actually put her foot in the gas pedal and the brake pedal. So long story short, we weren't able to really purchase the car unless we can get a new seat in or fix that seat. So he actually just literally went to his friend's car, pulled the seat out, put it in there, and made it happen for us. I truly appreciate you for that, my dude. But yeah, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing to the car wash and show you guys what we exactly we purchased because right now it is looking absolutely filthy, top to bottom. Um, obviously, it just rained, but I mean, yeah. For the most part, guys, it is a filthy looking car right now, but for the most part, it is solid. Like, we have a full frame, no accident, clean title, and everything is pretty much put together. It does have a little bit of dings here and there around the car, which we'll show you guys once we actually get this all clean up the interior can definitely be a little better it is an automatic it's definitely an automatic but my boy Blake actually has a full manual swap for this car I actually ordered some parts we're gonna be doing a manual swap on this we're definitely gonna be swapping out the steering wheels the seats are gonna go we're gonna do door panel deletes probably gonna be putting a cage um, we're gonna go full send on this guys it's gonna be absolutely insane the first track car I'm ever gonna be doing on this channel and I know I know I've said that I'm gonna be trying to do track cars with all my other builds and at least some of my builds not all my builds but this one I promise you guys is gonna be an actual track car so if you guys are excited and you guys finally want 
wanna see a track car being built on this channel, make sure to smash that like button because I don't know guys, I'm super hyped. This car actually came with the Modena interior. I don't know if that's the exact name for it, but it's I think it's like a super, super rare interior. It's like the luxury interior for the E36 M3s. And uh, yeah, the rest of the door panels are in actually really good shape. Uh, that The passenger seat's not too bad. It's a little tear right there. Other than that, it's a really good shape. This one is really rough. The driver's seat, the bottom is really rough as well. The back's actually not too bad. So I actually think I'm gonna re I'm gonna sell some of this. I'm gonna sell the entire interior to use this money towards the track interior because I wanna get some Sparco seats, uh, cages, stuff like that. So, so yeah, this is all gonna be going up onto eBay. For those of you guys who love uh, super rare interiors and want this interior, make sure to hit me up on my Instagram because this is all gonna have to go. We're gonna be ripping out everything, including the carpets because uh, yeah, we do a fat hole right there. I don't know how that happened, but it happened. <laughs> you guys, let's go ahead and head down to the car wash because we need to wash this thing so I can show you guys what exactly we're working with. Look how good the windows <laughs> Bro, it feels like a million bucks already. Oh my God. All right, we need to go down to Walmart to get some things to help diagnose this check engine light. And then uh, we'll go home and just show you guys pretty much a full in depth of this car. Again, I'm just super, super, super happy to start on this project. We did order a bunch of things, but uh, still a lot more things on the way, guys. And just like that, guys, we got the car back home and it's looking so much better. This is the first car wash. We put some tire shine on there. The wheels are actually in pretty good shape. I mean, obviously there's some curb rash on it, but uh, I really like how these wheels actually look from the fact they look pretty good. Uh, but as you guys can see there, we do actually have some paint issues right there. Might have to get that re-sprayed. I do actually want to get the entire car re-polished, but I also want to take a picture of all the dents and get all that sorted. Like, for example, we have this dent right here, that dent right there. I'm hoping those can get, uh, you know, I don't know how you call it but like paint dentless paint remover so i want to get those two out and then there's a few dents like all around the entire body there's actually a few on this fender right here i don't know if those are fixable or not but i would hope it is there's another little one right there we literally just lost the grill today while we're driving so that's unfortunate but it is the the chrome one so we'll go ahead and upgrade it to the black ones anyways i feel like those will look a lot better on here but man look at that front end guys i'm just gonna start saying things that are wrong with this car obviously we have some paint imperfections right here we have some paint imperfections right here on the roof as well this mirror does not work the paint's actually good but for some reason the mechanical motor of it does not work properly coming into the interior uh this door panel is actually everything works surprisingly all this stuff works other than the hazards when you press it now it works all of a sudden that's weird <laughs> oh stuck working now come on oh rip <laughs> Hold on, guys. <laughs> okay, now that we got that, I pretty much had to hit it a couple times. We do have all the wood and stuff just completely chipped off. But for the most part, guys, I do like to say this is kind of mint because this gauge actually works. All these gauges work. All these buttons work. This cigarette lighter actually works. This works. The radio doesn't work, but I plan on replacing this with an OE style Bluetooth one. I think that'd be super nice. We need to replace this. This is all chipped up. Most of the gauges on there and the lights don't work on the dash either. We have a giant fat hole in our carpet that needs to be replaced. And obviously, 
We have a non-sports seat here, uh, sports seat here, but you know, two completely different seats. We're gonna be getting rid of both of these seats and putting hopefully some Sparco ones. We do have a steering wheel coming in. I went ahead and ordered one from Aza. Um, Aza has some really nice m -Tech style ones. I don't know, I was gonna go with like a quick release one, but I think the m -Techs just look so much better. They're the ones without the airbag and without any buttons also, like a track style one, but OEM BMW, I think it's super sick. The roof is all sagging all over the place. I mean, I'm not gonna lie guys, the roof is in really rough shape. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take this out and rewrap it in Alcantara, but yeah, that is one terrible looking roof. As for the seat guys, it's actually in really good shape, like a little bit of cleaning up, obviously fixing these stains, fixing that crack, fixing this crack. Other than that, I've still got some sponge to it, but I mean, all the controls work on this seat, so that is a huge plus. Obviously this seat guys, we gotta take it out. None of the controls really work on this. I think it only goes up and down, but not forward and back. We have that all messed up. This side actually looks pretty decent. Um, yeah, we got a tear there, tear there. So yeah, I don't know if that's even reusable, if it has any value in it whatsoever. This door panel actually looks looks pretty good. These bottom seats are actually in horrendous condition as you guys can see. So we're gonna have to junk all that. We're gonna pull all this out. The whole interior is gonna be pulled out hopefully pretty soon in the next couple of videos. I just need to get my truck over here. So once we get the truck over here, we can put everything into the truck. But yeah, coming to the rear as well, we do have a little bit of imperfections right there. We got a dent right here. I'm hoping this can also be a, a paint like whatever paintless dent removed there's a little dent right here as well i don't know should i actually work on all these little dents or who really cares because it's gonna be a track car anyway so i don't know should i care about that guys let me know down below yeah coming into the trunk i actually picked up a regular cluster and this one actually has every single bulb you would ever need we're basically just got this for parts we're gonna be using all the parts off of this and then probably just put this up on ebay or something and then actually got the beginning to our manual swap so i actually got some pedals the manual transmission everything from the pickle pole was completely stripped out but blake actually has a manual transmission and everything so uh, yeah future plans on a manual swap coming soon and then obviously it's got a couple little minor things it has a check engine light because i don't think you guys heard the car it is stupid loud it is really loud and that is because basically the manifold to the cat there's a gasket right there that's blown out we're actually gonna have to jack up the car and see what gasket that is so i can go ahead and place an order on it we'll need that gasket pronto and that should fix our check engine light should fix that loud exhaust now in terms of the car constantly shutting off when we turn it on there's a vacuum leak somewhere so we got ourselves a smoke machine this is a real smoke machine that you don't need any air compressor tanks or anything this plugs directly into the wall and i can actually smoke test my cars now that i have an n54 335is and now that this one actually is misfiring because of a vacuum leak this is gonna come really handy we actually got some baby oil from walmart i heard that that's what you can use as like the fluid or whatever so wow uh, let's go in and back up the e36 m3 and uh, try to figure out what our leak is and how bad the leak is but yeah guys as much negatives as this car has actually a check engine light and a, a control engine light just popped up on the dash let alone an airbag light I as much negative things as this car has, this is the good motor. This is the 97, I believe it's like an S52. I believe this is like the proper motor to have uh, if you wanted the E36 M3s. Bare bone stock, completely stock. And this is like a great platform for us to work on. So we know no one really tinkered with anything. No one really played with anything. We get to start from it like as a fresh new canvas. Again, this is a one owner vehicle. So I'm super happy about this car. Again, other pluses, we drove this thing from LA to here, no issues. It drove perfectly. It literally just started giving us all these issues once we got here. I think that's because of literally the car wasn't driven for a very long time and then we put literally drove on it uh, for about six hours and I, I you know things just tend to happen I think six, honestly it was like seven eight hours so yeah things just started breaking down because I mean it was not used to driving that long in a very long time we did go down to Walmart and got some washer fluids that's just a little easy fix it has a light for washer fluids so you might as well fill up our washer tank and then we got some baby oil apparently you can use baby oil for uh, your your smoke machine um, so yeah we got some baby oil that's the liquid apparently we're gonna be needing uh, we're gonna put it into that machine and just do a quick little smoke test and figure out where our vacuum leak is so i went ahead and opened it up and actually as you guys can see it is topped off so uh i think vin already tried that technique and i think this is our issue this is our problem our little pump there is just i think it just gave out so oh that just sucks anywho this pump's about 50 20 bucks probably found it off a pick and pull car not a big deal so we're gonna have to pass on that for now i can't believe it still has a secondary air pump that is just crazy but anywho let's go ahead and check out our new smoke machine i am just super stoked for this so from what i read on Online. This smoke machine pretty much comes with everything you need to literally just start working, which is super nice. It's just the fluids are the only issue. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and unbox this all and I'll get back to you on a second. So I pulled out this extension cable thinking that we're actually gonna need an extension cable. It looks like you could literally do this on the go, wherever you are. It actually plugs straight into the car's battery, which is really nice. So first things first, uh, we plugged it in um, right there, which is the power. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way and just plug this. Where's the power on this car? So I guess on this car, it's right over here. So so that is the positive and then the negative should be literally anything i think this will work yep there you go oh it's already on power you want to 
Okay, all right, let's relax for a minute there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to use this just yet, but I think it's pretty easy. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just self-explanatory. We went ahead and only put in about 20 milliliters of fluids up here. Uh, you literally just screw on the screw of this cap. And then uh, you guys saw that I put the baby oil into their supplied, uh, what's it called? They had like a supplied little bottle. And that little bottle, I want to put it in there, 20 milliliters, that's what we put it in. Um, you can't even see it right here, but I know I put about 20 milliliters in there. I think um, for baby oil, you're not supposed to use more than that for clogging purposes, I'm assuming. Um, and then if you have the proper fluids, you can go ahead and put it to the max. But uh, since we don't, we just have baby oil for now. Um, that is acceptable, no more than 20 milliliters. Anywho, um, the other connection is this guy that connects literally to the back. Um, and that's it, that's literally it. I think if we're gonna be using air, we click this one. If we're gonna be using smoke, we're gonna click this one. Um, or I think we do both, air and smoke, just to get, you know, something's gonna push out the smoke, right? That's what I'm assuming. Yeah. But before we actually do all that, what's super cool is it actually comes with this adapter, and I think this is a BMW adapter. So uh, go ahead and take off this, uh, you know, this looks so sick. I mean, I like how the old ones actually say M on there. I don't know if the new ones say that or not, but I don't think my F80 has that. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and put that right on there, twist it, and bam, look at that, that is on there. So that is super nice. And then we can go ahead and grab our machine and put it right up on top of there. And then, uh, you know, that that is gonna be the smoke testing procedure. But let's just actually see if any smoke actually comes out of here. So first things first, let's go ahead and just set this up right here. Click air. Okay, I actually see a little bit of smoke, right? We're gonna do smoke. Okay, and I think you turn this down or up. There you go. Woo! <laughs> this is sick. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead, put it right in here. Okay, it is leaking a little bit from the cap. I don't think that's too big of a deal. Bro, bro. Oh, <laughs> Hold on. It's a, bro. Look how massive this leak is. Hey, God, how about three bro, seconds? It that took was three, three seconds. seconds. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that is so sick. Okay. I didn't even. Okay, hold on, we don't even need this anymore. Let's just turn this off. There you go. Well, bro, it's but, done. Bro, look at that. That is so sick. That yeah. is like the easiest diagnostic tool ever. You put it straight through the engine cap that is already supplied with the tool. It is completely portable. Like nothing's connected to the car once. Dude, I am so ecstatic for this new tool. It's gonna definitely be helping us with future projects, especially since it's gonna be our track car. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of other things to this car. Possibly we thought about, actually I'm, I'm not gonna say future plans just in case I don't do it, but I have some crazy plans for this car. And uh, having this machine was essential. So that's why we went ahead and picked it up. So we got to take it with us on the track, make sure everything's gravy in the Navy at all times. Uh, but yeah, so far so good. Looks like that intake boot um, is our only issue. It's still smoking out of here. Um, but again, that is a massive crack. It actually looks like, bro, somebody tried sealing it up before us. You see that? Yeah, it looks like a... It looks like the JD paste. Weld or some kind of paste. Yeah. So anywho, um, that is that. Uh, I think these go for like 12 bucks brand new. I don't want to go to Pick and Pull and get another used one because I'm sure that's going to be brittle as well. So we're going to go ahead and place a new order on that. That should actually fix our misfiring issue. Not a misfiring, but the car dies every time it starts up. Uh, so that is a huge, huge, huge plus there. Now let's go ahead and actually just get the car jacked up. I just want to see where the exhaust leak is as well. So we can just start ordering some parts for the thing. Because as soon as everything starts getting in, guys, we're going to start building this thing. We need to start getting this thing. It's going to be super exciting. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unplug the smoke test machine that absolutely worked amazingly. If you guys want the smoke test machine, link's going to be down below, guys. Make sure to check it out. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get the car jacked up. So I actually saw the exhaust pipes. I don't know if you guys can see, you see that triangle connection right there to the cat? I think that's where it's leaking from, but I can't really tell. Like, I mean, nothing's actually coming out of it. Like, I don't see air or smoke or anything. So uh, uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and use our smoke test machine again and plug it into the exhaust. And maybe we can actually find where the exhaust leak is. Cause I'm wondering, is it from the actual uh, headers right here? Or is it because of that exhaust triangle gasket? So without further ado, let's go ahead and set up that smoke test machine again. This is what I ended up really up guys but went ahead and just put uh some jumper cables on the car went ahead and disconnected the jumper cables to the machine and now that we have this it shows that it's on it should be able to work we're going to go ahead and put this on one of the exhaust pipes and go ahead and put this on the other and see if any smoke's coming out that's the goal we're trying to see if we, where the smoke is coming out from exactly i think this should work just like that guys, uh, I started getting a super bad migraine. I think the smoke is not too good to stay next to you. I literally feel super dizzy. <laughs> I don't think the smoke is getting through the muffler, the resonators, and the cat, the secondary cats to get to the header section. So maybe you have to go at it from the top. 
I'm gonna go ahead and pop a Guada another day. I'm feeling super dizzy. But uh, any heels, I'm probably just gonna order the header gaskets anyways. They do look bad. They do look like, like, like corroded. So I'm gonna go ahead and order the two um, the bottom ones, not the headers, but the two bottom ones. Um, I believe those are the ones that I was addressed the issue was. So I'm gonna go ahead and order those two. Hopefully those are the issues. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think. Did I get a good deal with this E36 M3? Let me know down below. I ended up picking it up for six thousand dollars. I think six thousand dollars is an absolute steal of a deal in this current market. I mean, the condition is not, but for a one owner clean title, I think it's worth the six grand. Nowadays, these cars are going for about 10 to 12 in pretty good shape. Um, so, I mean, considering that I got it for almost half, I think it's worth uh, to go ahead and uh, work on the interior and stuff like that. Because if you guys think about it, if I pick one up, that's in pretty good shape. It'll be kind of hurtful to destroy it. You know, like these cars are not really, nowadays they went up in value. It's not really worth taking it apart, shipping it down if uh, the interior is in mint shape. It's probably better just to keep it that way. But obviously I wanted a track car, so picking one up that has really rough interior, I don't feel bad taking it out because either I gotta spend 4,500 restoring the interior or I can spend 4,500, get like a racing shifter, manual swap it, racing steering wheel, Sparco seats, cage. I think that is the way I'm gonna go. So if you guys are excited for this build, make sure to smash that like button. Without further ado guys, I'll be on so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out